Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research, entertainment purposes, allegedly, and do not answer those fraud hustlers trying to get you to contact me. Okay, so today I want to hit up yet again one more for today about the book called Spare. Yes, the angry spare it should be called. It should be called the petulant spare. That's really what it should be called. That petulant spare who's living in exile. Yes, that's I should rename that book. But yes, uh, I'm wondering whether or not this book release date is sort of a veiled beg slash threat to get daddy dearest, to get daddy to pay off the publishing house and all the fees associated in order to get it pulled from the shelf. So let's find out from the pendulum first. Is the public announcement of the book with the cover... Is that kind of a begging type of situation, trying to get dad to pay it off, pay off the publishers? Does Harry want dad to pay off the publishers? Does Harry want dad to do it? Does he want him to pay off the publishers? Does Harry want dad to pay off the publishers of his book? Yes. Bigger question, will Prince Charles III do it? Will Prince Charles III do it for him? Nope, he's not going to do it. Does he want to see what the contents are and let the chips fall where they may? Yes. Are they prepared for a full fallout? Are they prepared for a full fallout? Yep. Have they lost hope in Harry? Have they lost all hope in Harry and just let him live his life and make all his mistakes? Yes. So they're not going to bail him out. They're going to play that tough love, let the chips fall. Probably because I'm also hearing that Prince Charles III is keeping them as Chancellor of State as far as um, Andrew and Harry so that they can cover up their, I don't know, this is what someone said on Twitter, quote, blushes in life. So he has still sort of that in. If that's true, I don't know. You can clarify that for me if it's not true because I know you guys are completely up on that. But it's looking like Prince Charles is going to let the book drop. So we're going to expect a book. And we have here King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, he's not going to nurture him. He's upset. He's not going to nurture him. I just can't do it anymore. <clears throat> he's just going to let him do it. Because he realizes there's this indulgence... Um, you know, he's going to, it's an insensitive position. Um, it's being emotionally broken. Uh, even Prince Charles is in a position of needing psychotherapy. Uh, King of Cups in reverse is needing psychotherapy. Not able to love him right now. He's not able to love him. He has not forgiven him. He doesn't want to do it. It's an insensitive position. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. So, no, he's not going to do it. I'm going to get the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck would be Queen Camilla here is standing strong. She's rising up and helping him make this decision. I would say Queen Consort Camilla had a role in this decision. Let's get to the next position. We have here, I have to do these all upright because it's my double major deck. We have here the Queen of Pentacles. That's a challenging position. So, they probably figures if it drops and it does poorly and they fail at yet another task, Margle, Markle will not get that money she's hoping for. That's a challenging position is Markle. We know that Markle wants all her comforts and luxuries and she wants to be seen as though she has everything. Uh, so that's the challenging position is getting rid of her. It's always been getting rid of, of uh, Megan. How can we get rid of her? Uh, this could be part of the agenda of getting rid of her. By allowing Harry to fail, try something and letting him fail, he has to fall and hit rock bottom uh, and really making himself look really bad in the process uh, because it, it will. Uh, uh, what better way to uh, learn life's lessons than to allow your child to fail? So they're not going to do the lawnmower parenting uh, technique that he's used to where they come in and clean up his messes. Only, yet, an, only enough of a cleanup of a mess if he walks back into uh, the family unit. Uh, but outside the family unit, no, you're going to completely fall. The feelings in the, the, excuse me, the focal point, the focal point here, the focal point. Focal point for 
Whoa, keep going. Focal point for the book called Spare. Spare, focal point. That one's out. Wow, two came out. Focal point coming out. Yes, it is. They're going to basically, a lot of people are going to see it as their world's not going right. Bad karma, bad luck. They're in a rut. They're going to try to put the family in a rut. Lack of self-awareness. Lack of connection to spirit. Clouded insight. Uh, it's a female who doesn't have any friends. That would be Meghan Markle. A female who has um, shallow connections. And everything's going to fall apart. So yes, they're hoping that if it drops, that Markle's world will come cracking apart. Because it's just bad karma, bad luck back on her. It's going to reflect back on her as well as Harry. And it may reflect more poorly on Markle than it will on Harry. People will see that it's her manipulation. Because she's, she's, she's the one who's the driver here. So they're going to see it as she's just that shallow character taking him down. Taking a once loved prince and taking him all the way down. Let's go to the past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves. Well, there we go. That one's all the way over there. One, two, and three. Yeah, so basically here, it's going to turn him, the family against him with the emperor in reverse. Um, that's also in the past position. So there could be repair for him, but very angry father here. Uh, the angry, the father painting uh, Charles as abusive. So that's in the past position. Uh, and that he was on a relentless pursuit to paint the family as being ruthless and not nurturing, uh, being all powerful and whatnot, but truly not being a powerful person because uh, they have low vibes, uh, a poor father figure. And then we have here, this has to be upright, with the Knight of Pentacles upright, uh, being forced to work, be a workhorse for the royal family. And um, finding that it's um, unsuitable for him. He didn't like doing it. He hated it. He didn't like being a working royal. He wanted to do other things with his life. He was on a relentless pursuit to do other things, find other excitement, go his own way. And feeling trapped with the family. And that they are, they are touchable. They're not untouchable. And they truly are not powerful. That they are focused on power, but they're sort of this dictator energy, bullying, obstruction, daddy dearest, uh, you know, dad wasn't great father, losing their grip, losing their cool. And he just had this real, relentless desire to do something else with this knight of wands, wanting to go in this whole new fearless direction. He wanted to focus on some other pursuits rather, rather than being a workhorse for the family. And that is in the past position that will no longer serve Harry once this book drops. That's how this energy is reading. Uh, he did not want to do it. We all know that. He did not want to be a working royal. So that's going to be highlighted heavily in the book. Uh, under the surface, under the surface with the spare book, the spare book, the spare book. We have here, got to read it up right, the chariot. It's a crash and burn. Uh, people are going to probably view Harry as a crash and burn. He crashed and burned everything. He didn't think he could drive forward with the family. He didn't think he could be on a good positive pursuit to uh, accomplish what he wanted to do. The chariot upright is about going after what you want and achieving it. Uh, it's about competition too. It's about just striving for your goals and going after them and succeeding. He did not feel that being in the family, he can strive and go after his goals and what he wanted. Uh, it was basically being a workhorse for a dictator. And he didn't want to be a workhorse for a dictator. Uh, so he crashed and burned it. That's the whole root problem here. He decided to get off. He wasn't going to stay in that carriage and drive forward with them and go after their goals because he did not want to go after their goals. He wanted to go after his own goals. So he's going to say that that's why he crashed and burned it uh, and that the family is exhausting. It is an exhausting place to be. You see that lion laying on the ground that just being around that energy was too exhausting. 
and kind of wore him down. And you could see that that's being overlooked. Get up, get up. You 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 can't just stay down. You cannot you cannot rest right now. We have work to do. Get up. So that they're not they're kind of relentless in their pursuit of driving forward. And there was not enough uh, relaxation uh, and uh, just kind of wearing him down, feeling worn down and constantly observed. Uh, even if you're having a bad day and you're dealing with clouds above you and you're depressed, you still have to get up because they're going to force you to get up is how I feel with that energy. So he's going to complain about that, that even when you're sick, you still have to work. So he doesn't, he didn't like being of service. He didn't like the demands in essence. Let's go into the next position. Justice. He, he's going to feel that this is cause and effect, that it's fair. He's going to feel that what he wrote is total truth and fairness. And that he's making that basically it's the karmic balance now. He's trying to get his own karmic balance and that it's the truth. So he's going to say that he's trying to get what he feels he deserves. Next position here. But unfortunately for him, he's fallen on his horse. Uh, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, he was not able to continue with his pursuit. His pursuit has failed. It's a failed pursuit, reckless direction with the wrong wife, and basically feeling dumped now with anger issues and dealing with consequences because he chose a reckless direction. So he chose a reckless direction choosing the wrong wife. It may be mentioned that they're going to say, you're going down the wrong direction. You're going down the wrong road. What are you doing? You're not going to work with us. You're going down a reckless direction. This isn't going to work out. She's going to dump you. You will get dumped. You won't be the last husband. And uh, so that wand will be actually in reverse. She will eventually, it's going to be a rejection here, feeling rejected also. That pursuit was rejected. Uh, and he's going to say, well, I want to go on my own way. No, you can't do that. So that's how he's going to say that too. Uh, let's get outside influences for the book spare. The outside influences for the book spare. How's it going to do? What's the public going to say? What's the public going to say on his book? There we go. Oof. They're going to say the Queen of Pentacles in reverse was the dictator of it that she's the one trying to cause all the problems. They're going to put a lot of it on Markle because she wants to financially profit from Harry being a prince. And she's the one who pulled him away. So a lot of it's going to fall back on Markle. She enjoys the negative fuel too. She likes being the uh, demonic ones. <laughs> the next position, the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears was, uh, I think uh, he was hoping to actually be her Knight of Cups, but... Uh, he's not. <laughs> he's not. Uh, the fear aspect is that uh, she doesn't really love him. He's not her knight of cups. He's not her knight in shining armor. But she sure likes to make him think he is. But he truly never was. He never was. He's going to fall on his head with his emotional cup. Pour it out. He's going to be drained of emotions. And it was the wrong pursuit, the wrong mission to have her in his life. Uh, she likes to paint herself as that nurturing person, nurturing her Prince Charming, nurturing her Knight of Cups. And that's the way she's going to paint herself or that's the way it's going to be in the book is that she nurtured him also. That she nurtured his, his negative emotions. She nurtured his need for other people to emotionally regulate him. She got him in a better place. She was this loving, nurturing mother. She's, here's that mother. Here's that Megan mother card. She's like his mommy. It's replacement mommy here. You know, he's supposed to be a man, but no. She's nurturing a child because it's in reverse. So he's, he's arrested development. He's not uh, 18 to 20 years old. He's younger than that. But yet he's in his 40s or close to it. So yeah, he's... He's young. He's young. So she's mothering him because he's emotionally unregulated. He can't handle himself. He cannot stand on his own. Uh, she may also blame him of being a seducer, a seduction, and he seduced me. Um, and uh, basically, but it's the other way around. I'd say it's projection. She actually seduced him, <laughs> pretending to be his mother, like his mother. I am just like Diana. But there'll probably be some projection there. 
So yeah, she, she's gonna lie and say say it's the opposite of what it really is. She likes that confusion. I don't see her being honest. And we know she contributed to the book. So she's gonna say she nurtured this poor soul, basically. Yeah, poor, poor Harry. He's so emotionally depressed. Poor Harry, I had to nurture him back up to health. Don't you guys know? But she is fully expecting everyone to blame her. She really is. She she doesn't mind it either. She likes it's, it's attention is attention is attention. And negative fuel is very powerful. She doesn't mind being the villain, you guys. She likes being the villain. And then we have here, it's going to act like we're going to drive forward together. We're going to make our goals. We're moving forward with our goals. We have our act together, don't you know it? We're working in harmony. We're working in harmony and we're going forward. So that's basically what the book is going to say. That is how it's going to be painted. Uh, let's get at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, let's get another one here. We got here uh, the strength. We're going to stay strong. We're going to stay very strong together and balanced. And we're going to endure. So we're going to keep moving forward and we're going to endure. Uh, endure this hardship. This bad karma, bad luck, and everyone's saying that I'm dark and I'm shallow. Well, screw you. I'm going to succeed regardless. <laughs> Megan's going to be in the book. She's going to say, we're idealistic together. We're perfect together. We are the perfect couple. <laughs> the high priestess is idealistic. Idealistic. Everything's idealistic. I've got a higher self, higher knowing, and we did the right thing. We made the right call because we're spirit connected. Yes, we are, but she's lying because we've got the queen of swords in reverse. Or at least it wants to be in reverse, but it's not supposed to. She is calling the shots. She's going to say that she's the one who's, who's idolistic for him. I'm idolistic for him because I'm speaking up for him. I'm helping my husband defend his rights, which was he didn't want to be a working royal. It was his idea. It wasn't my idea. Why is everyone taking me down? Uh, it was his idea. It was idealistic for him to leave. He did not want to be a working royal. So she's going to not, she's not going to take any uh, accountability, even though he was in a really good place when they met. And she got that paranoia, that psychosis back in his mind to get him back into this position. This was there before, but I think that it had been on the back burner. I don't think it was in the forefront of his brain, but she brought it back in. She did bring it back in because she's cold. This is the Ice Queen. And the Ice Queen is kind of ruthless. Uh, the Queen of Swords does not go by emotion, so she does not love him. Even though she likes to paint herself as loving him, she truly doesn't love him. She likes to regulate him. She likes to regulate her emotions with her manipulation, with by, by via nurturing. So it's a very gentle manipulation. Uh, by using her feminine energies uh, and her fertility, you know, sort of this loving energy. Uh, when when she's in a good place, that's how she treats him. Not when she's in a bad place and she's devaluing him, but when she's in a good headspace, she mothers him. She mothers him back to being what he feels comfortable with. So, and she likes calling the shots. So she is that ice queen. She is that older, wiser female. Uh, it's the masculine queen of the energies. She relies on her judgment. She thinks her judgment is ideal judgment. No one else's judgment is good enough as mine. She's very frank. Um, and she, you, you know, she cannot be ignored. She will not be ignored. And she does not let her guard down easily. She's very decisive. And she feels that nobody can trick her. Nobody can trick her. She relies solely on her judgment and nobody else's judgment. And no one's going to tell me what to do with my husband because I call the shots. So, yes, that is what's going to be in the book. Uh, yeah, and it looks like dad's ready to look at it, too. Uh, and so this will help promote her breakdown. Uh, this will help promote her bre breakdown because what's going to end up happening is people are going to see it as being her energy for financial purposes and gain. And the outside influences, it will be taking her down with them. And that they basically, the couple basically is a crash and burn. And everyone's waiting for the train wreck to crash. Everybody's here because it's a train wreck. Uh, I think the, the mass public at large is going to see it as a train wreck also. And see that it's just going to crash and burn. And that uh, he put uh, King Charles III in a very emotionally downrodden kind of position. Emotional depression. 
uh, not able to put out love for him and emotionally separated, emotionally drained and putting his dad, you know, his dad in a bad position here. Not happy, not happy King. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this till next time. Like, and subscribe. Bye you guys.